Good morning. We request everyone to please wear your face mask and face shield properly while inside the church. Thank you. Pinapakiusap po namin na palaging isuot ang inyong face mask at face shield habang nasa loob po tayo ng simbahan. Salamat po. Please all kneel for the daily offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, our Father, I offer you my day. I offer you my prayers, thoughts, words, actions, and sufferings in union with the Sacred Heart of Jesus, who continues to offer himself in the Eucharist for the salvation of the world. May the Holy Spirit, who guided Jesus, be my guide and my strength today, so that I may witness to your love. With Mary, the mother of our Lord and of the Church, I pray especially for the intentions of the Holy Father for this month. Let us pray for young people who are preparing for marriage with the support of a Christian community. May they grow in love, with generosity, faithfulness, and patience. I also offer the intentions of all my relatives, friends, 
and my personal intentions today. Amen. Please remain kneeling for the Novena to St. Anthony of Padua, prayer for the third day. Together, dear St. Anthony, set up of love and extraordinary example of Christian life, help us to be strong like you in search of God's infinitely sweet presence. You often lead in solitude and silence to enjoy a forced taste of paradise, our special protector. We are often discouraged in this valley of tears, in our continuous struggle against our passions, vain desires, come to our aid so that we too may enjoy that serene and sweet inner peace, which is a reward for Christian living and powerful invitation to seek union with all of God's saints in heaven. Amen. Act of preparation to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. O oh, sweet Jesus, behold us prostrate before your altar, eager to repair by a special act of homage the cruel indifference and injuries to which your loving heart is everywhere subject. Mindful that we have had a share in such great indignities, which we now deplore from the depths of our hearts, we humbly ask your pardon and declare our readiness to atone by voluntary expiation, not only for our own personal offenses, but also for the sins of those who, straying far from the path of salvation, refuse in their obstinate infidelity to follow you, their shepherd and leader, or renouncing the vows of their baptism, have cast off the sweet yoke of your law. We are now resolved to expiate each and every deplorable outrage committed against you. We are determined to make amends for the manifold offenses against Christian modesty, for all the foul seductions, for the frequent violations of Sundays and holidays, and the shocking blasphemies uttered against you and your sins. We wish also to make amends for the insults to which your vicar on earth and your priests are subjected for the profanity of the very sacrament of your divine love and lastly for all the public crimes of nations who resist the rights and teachings authority of the church which you have founded would O divine jesus we were able to wash away such abominations with our blood we now offer in reparation for these violations, the satisfac satisfaction you once make to your eternal Father, in which you continue to renew daily on our altars, we offer it in union with the acts of atonement of your Virgin Mother and all the saints, and of the pious faithful on earth. And we sincerely promise to make recompense as far as we can with the help of your grace for all the neglect of your great love, and for the sins we and others have committed. Henceforth, we will live a life of unwavering faith, of purity of conduct, of perfect observance of the precepts of the gospel, and especially of charity. O loving Jesus, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mother, Receive the voluntary offering we make of this act of expiation and keep us faithful until death so that we may all one day come to that happy home where you reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning once again, my brothers and sisters, and welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ. And we also, this is also the third, uh, fifth day novena masses in honor of the most sacred heart of Jesus. Our priest presider is Reverend Father Oji Orpiada. Please all rise.
We will now begin with our celebration on the solemnity of the Most Holy Body and Blood of Christ and the peep day of our Novena Masses in honor of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ and communion with the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. And all together we pray, I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and, and in what, what I have failed to do, to through my, my fault, through my fault. fault through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, Grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruit of your redemption, who lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. When Moses came to the people and related all the words and ordinances of the Lord, they all answered with one voice, We will do everything that the Lord has told us. Moses then wrote down all the words of the Lord, and rising early the next day, he erected at the foot of the mountain an altar and twelve pillars for the twelve tribes of Israel. Then, having sent certain young men of the Israelites to offer holocausts and sacrifice young bulls as peace offerings to the Lord, Moses took half of the blood and put it in large bowls, the other half he splashed on the altar. Taking the book of the covenant, he read it aloud to the people who answered, all that the Lord has said, we will heed and do. Then he took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you in accordance with all these words of his. The word of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. 
you have loosed my bonds. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came as high priest of the good things that have come to be, passing through the greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made by hands, that is, not belonging to this creation, he entered once for all into the sanctuary, not with the blood of coats and cubs, but with his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls and the sprinkling of a heifer's ashes can sanctify those who are defiled, so that their flesh is cleansed, how much more with the blood of Christ, who, to the eternal spirit, offered himself unblemished to God, cleansed our consciences from dead works to worship the living God. For this reason, he is mediator of a new covenant, since a death has taken place for deliverance from transgressions under the first covenant, those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Together, lo, the angel's food is given to the pilgrim who has striven. See the children's bread from heaven, which on dogs may not be spent. Through it, the ancient times fulfilling, Isaac bound a victim willing. Paschal lamb, its lifeblood spilling, manna to the father's sin. Very bread, good shepherd, tend us. Jesus of our love, befriend us. You refresh us, you defend us. Your eternal goodness send us in the land of light to see. You who all things can and know, who on earth such food bestow, grant us with your sins, Though lowest, where the heavenly feast you show, fellow heirs and guests to be. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, when they, when they sacrificed the Passover lamb, Jesus' disciples said to him, where do you want us to go and prepare for you to eat the Passover? He sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city and a man will meet you, carrying a jar of water. Follow him. Wherever he enters, say to the master of the house. The teacher says, where is my guest room, where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? Then he will show you a large upper room, furnished and ready. Make the preparation for us there. The disciples then went up, entered the city, and found it just as he had told them, and they prepared the Passover. 
While they were eating, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, <clears throat> gave it to them, and said, Take it. This is my body. Then he took a cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, and they all drank from it. He said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed for many. Amen. I say to you, I shall not drink again the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Then after singing a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. The good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Holy Gospel wipe away our sins. Amen. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. As we celebrate today the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ, let us remember the three important gifts Jesus entrusted to us. On Holy Thursday, Jesus gave us two precious gifts. He instituted the sacrament of the Eucharist as a living memory on the Last Supper. But at the same time, He instituted the sacrament of holy orders that may be able to celebrate that memory. On that Holy Tuesday, the greatest gift that God can offer to humanity is the Eucharist. And the greatest gift humanity can offer to God is the holy orders or the priesthood. Good Friday, the third gift that was offered to humanity is the gift of his mother. The church was entrusted to her so that Mary can guide and teach us the way to her son. The celebration of today's Corpus at Sanguinis Christi give us three understanding of that gifts. The first is the holy sacrifice. The second is the holy Eucharist. And the third is the real presence. Allow me to explain this three and one in the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Jesus. Why holy sacrifice? In the Old Testament, Moses received the covenant with Yahweh on Mount Sinai. But when people fail to follow the commandments to appease God, they need to offer sacrifices. And it would mean burnt offering. It would mean they kill an animal and sprinkle it on the altar. And at the same time, on the people to appease God. Ganoon ang kanilang pag-aalay. Pero, yan ang kapahayagan din ng una nating pagbasa. 
But on the second reading, it was a different form of offering. Jesus on Good Friday was offered on Mount Calvary as a fitting sacrifice for the remission of our sins by shedding His blood, by offering His body once and for all as a new covenant with God. Yun po yung konsepto ng holy sacrifice. Hindi lamang ito isang sakripisyo na tila yata walang kabuluhan. Marami sa atin ang nagsasakripisyo. Subalit tila yata nawawal ang halaga sapagkat sa kanilang pagtataya ng buhay hindi kasama ang tinatawag nating integridad ng buhay at ang dignidad ng pamumuhay. The dignity and the integrity of salvation was somehow opened body and blood with the souls of Christ. The second understanding is the Holy Eucharist. Bakit po ngayong linggo nandito tayo na iipon? Bakit po ngayong linggo nandyan ang ating mga televiewers online nakikinig, nakikibahagi sa ating banal na pagdiriwang? Bakit po araw-araw ipinagdiriwang natin ang banal na Eucharistia? At bakit? Sa tuwing linggo, ito yung pinaka-highlights ng ating gawain. Ano kaya ang ibig sabihin? When we receive light, when we receive blessing or graces, our response is to say, Thank you. The Eucharist stands for our act of thanksgiving for the blessing of life, for the blessing of the community, for the blessing of our day-to-day -day endeavor that God journeyed with us. Kaya ito yung pinaka-highlights ng ating banal na pagdiriwang ang pinakamataas sa lahat ng panalangin Ialay natin muli ang ating Panginoon, katawan at dugo bilang pagkain ng ating kaluluwa, bilang pagkain ng ating pamayanan ng pamilya at maging ng ating simbahan. Kaya po yung pasasalamat natin, sana nauunawaan nyo kapatid, na ang pinakasentro ng buhay pananampalataya ng bawat Kristiyano ay ang banal na Eucharistia. Doon natin na i-encounter ang dalawang bagay, ang salita ng Diyos at ang kanyang banal na handog. Ang ikatlo, ang tinatawag nating real presence. Kapatid, si Kristo ba ay tunay na presence sa ating pamayanan? Si Kristo ba ay tunay na presence sa ating tahanan? Siya ba talaga ay tunay na presence sa ating sarili? Ano yung understanding natin ng presence? It is a sharing of table with Christ. Jesus opened the table with us. And it is now the table at the altar 
that we offer that sacrifice. Why Jesus shared table with us in order to provide us the vision of God. In order to understand us, the mind, the heart, and the spirit of God. But at the same time, to provide us with the sacrifice that can somehow provide us with a healing, with reconciliation, with forgiveness, and with mercy. Sinasabi natin, kapatid, you are what you eat. Kung ano ang kinakain mo, ikaw yan. Kung ang kinakain mo ay health, not healthy food, ikaw yan ang taong may daladala ng sakit. Kung ang pagkain mo sa iyong isip ay hindi ang katotohanan, kapatid, ikaw ay nagpapahayag ng fake news. Kung sa puso mo wala ang pag-iral ng pagmamahal, ikaw ang sumisira sa magandang ugnayan. You create the vision. You create walls instead of bridges in order to spawn the God. Kapatid, kung ang iyong kalooban ay hindi natututong sumunod sa panuntunan ng batas, ang kalooban ng Diyos ay hindi mananahan sa iyo. At kung ang iyong kaluluwa ay wala ng diwa ng paglilinis, katulad ng ipinapahayag ng sacred heart, Consecrate your soul. Offer your souls to God as your form of sacrifice and make reparation from the soul that God has given to you. Kapatid, mauunawaan mo sa iyong kaluluwa ang tunay na diwa ng buhay, ang tunay na diwa ng pagbabagong buhay. Kaya yung real present doesn't only speak of the sacrifice, of the celebration, but the real presence speaks of our renewal, of our baptismal identity. Na kung ang iyong pagkatao bilang isang kristyano, pinababanibago mo, sa pamamagitan ng larawan ni Kristo, nasaan ka man, kapatid, ikaw ang maghahatid ng tunay na presensya ng Diyos. Kaya po, sa tatlong mahalagang regalong ipinagkaloob ng Diyos, the Eucharist, the priesthood, and the Blessed Virgin Mary as the mother of Christ and the mother of the church ang hamon sa atin ng celebration ito be bearers of the Eucharist kayo po ba'y tumatanggap ng banal na komunyon? ano po ang sagot? opo ay papano naman yun nasa online spiritual communion We cannot substitute the real presence of Christ with a spiritual communion. The online masses is not a substitute for our Sunday obligation. But since we are in the pandemic time, so that we can bring you the love of God, The Word of God and the sacrifice of God, 
we allow for a moment online masses. Pero, pag kayo po ay bumalik sa simbahan, the first thing to do is make confession. Father, I have missed for more than months or for more than years the holy sacrifice receiving Christ personally and communally. Dapat po ganoon ang ating disposition. Be the bearers of Christ that as you see, you see Christ in your body, be the body and blood of Jesus for your family and for our community. The second is, be a conveyor of the Eucharist. Hindi po makikilala ang Kristo kung wala po ang nanay. Mary received the word and her womb, the real presence of God and her womb. The word of God stayed for nine months in the womb of Mary. Mary nurtured the word of God, the real presence of God and her womb. At nang ang salita ng Diyos ay magkatawang tao, Mary is the first disciple among the disciples. Mary is the first bearers of the good news among the bearers of the good news. And Mary is the first missionary who propagated the good news. Kaya napakaganda na sa ating pagkikilala sa katawan at dugo ng ating Panginoon, maunawaan natin ang role ng ating inang si Maria. To Jesus through Mary. Higit nating makikilala ang anak sa pamamagitan ng ina. At ang ating inang si Maria, ginabayan ang ating simbahan. Ang ating inang Maria, iniluwal sa atin ang simbahan. At ang ating inang si Maria, siya ang naging gabay ng tinatawag nating the real presence of Christ and the world. Kaya po, kapag naka-expose ang ating blessed sacrament, ano po ang ating sinasabi? O sacrament, most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise, all thanks be given to every moment dying. Yan po ang kapahayagan natin sapagkat ang Eucharistia ay ang kabuan ng ating pag-iral bilang mga Kristiyano Katoliko. Please rise. We will now profess our faith. I believe in, I believe one, in God. one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the given of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please kneel for our liturgical novena to the sacred heart of Jesus. 
we have come together in the power of the Holy Spirit to offer the Eucharistic sacrifice to our Heavenly Father in thanksgiving for the great love He has shown us by giving us His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In His Son, He revealed the depths of His love to the symbol of the heart. As we prepare to unite our hearts with His in offering this sacrifice to the Eucharist, let us pray to Him for our needs and the needs of the people of God. Lord Jesus Christ, you promise that wherever two or three are gathered together in your name, you will be present among them. Come to us who have assembled here to honor you and your most sacred heart. Fill our hearts with your blessings and grace and enkill them, them with the fire of your love. O Divine Jesus, hear and grant our petitions. Lord Jesus Christ, you said, Ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and it will be opened to you. Obtain for us an increase of faith, hope and love, that we remain faithful to our baptismal promises until death. We pray. O loving Jesus, hear and grant our petitions. Lord Jesus Christ, you said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will refresh you. We come to you confident that your merciful love will lighten all our burdens of soul and body. O kind Jesus, hear and grant our petitions. Together, Lord Jesus Christ, you have called us to share your saving mission. Sinners though we are, we accept this mission and we renew our baptismal promises. We renew our consecration of ourselves to your sacred heart and we offer to you ourselves and our loved ones to be united with your Eucharistic offering, that we may serve you with greater fidelity, we ask you to obtain the favors we seek in this novena. If what we ask is not for God's greater glory or for the good of our souls, grant us what is most pleasing to your divine goodness. Deepen our faith and touch fire to our hearts, that we may respond with burning love. O heart of love, we place all our trust in you. We fear all things for our own weakness, but we hope for all things for your goodness. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this bread to offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offerings we have present through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with his apostles, Establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. 
nourishing your faithful by the sacred mystery. You make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament so that that in the sweetness of your grace we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song and adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, Amen. holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the pawn of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our Apostolic Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Margaret Mary Alacoc, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. With the love of Christ, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, Lamb of God you, take you take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. For those who will receive communion, you do not have to leave your seats. Please stand and the Eucharistic ministers will approach you. Do not take off or put up your face shield. Just remove your face mask. Thank you. Act of the Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Please all rise. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that we may delight for all eternity 
in the chair in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please all kneel for the prayer of thanksgiving to the Sacred Heart. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for being with us today. We thank you for the grace that we have received from you, for the grace of your divine life in our souls, for the love of God our Father, and the abiding gift of the Holy Spirit, for the wonderful gift of your presence in the Holy Eucharist, and most especially, for the love in your heart which make us more one with you and with each other in the depths of your sacred heart. Heart of Jesus, burning furnace of charity, teach us to love one another as you have loved us. Heart of Jesus, pierced by a lance, a victim of sin, forgive us for all our ingratitude and our negligence. Heart of Jesus, patient and most merciful to those who trust in you, be our refuge and our strength in the trials and temptations of life. Heart of Jesus, fountain of life and holiness, draw us close to you and sanctify our lives with your grace. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection, obtain for us at the hour of our death the grace to share in the glory of your resurrection by a new life of unending happiness in heaven. Let us pray. O Divine Savior, you love every man and woman with such profound intensity that you had to reveal it through the symbol of your wounded heart. Many of us live as though you do not exist. Many others ignore you or despise you or reject your precepts in our parish, in our country, throughout the world. There are many Christians who are indifferent to your love. Perhaps in our own families, in our communities, you are not loved as you deserve. Lord, we want to make up with you because you have given us the grace to know and to love you inwardly as you wish. In the midst of a sinful world, we will be healthy members of your mystical body, overflowing with love. To prayer and sacrifice, we will make reparation according to our abilities for the evil in the world and for the ingratitude of men and women. We will contribute our part so that you can offer to the Father in heaven a glorious human race. We can do it because we are united inwardly with you and share in your life's work and in your task of redemption. Heart of Jesus, heart of love, inflame our hearts with your love. Amen. Amen. Please. Uh, be seated for some announcement. Novena Masses in preparation for the Feast of the Sacred Heart on Friday from June, ele June 11 will be from June 2 to June 10. During the nine-day Novena Masses, there will be a half-hour vigil after the evening Masses to be followed by inspirational, foundational stories from our guest speakers. Finally, there will be an imposition of Sacred Heart scapulars on Friday, June 11 at 10 in the morning. Those who wish to receive scapulars may please register at the parish office. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Bestow increase of heavenly grace on your faithful, O Lord. May they praise you with their lips, with their soul, with their lives, and since it is by your gift that we exist, may our whole lives be yours through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.